Well, now we need to talk about all the rain we're still having. This was the awful reality for Yolanda Rubio. Her home was destroyed in June's flash flooding. At first, Yolanda and her family had no idea where they would go next, but now after Iowans donated their time and money to her family, the Rubios have a second chance. But then there's this week. It's brought a lot more concern about flooding. The local five's Bryn Carmen shows us how the family is trying to stay focused on all the progress at their house rather than the uncontrollable weather. The walls are up, the cabinets are on the way, the transformation this house has made in the last two months is remarkable. The Rubio family is excited with all the progress, but with the rainy weather and chance of flash flooding, that worry keeps them up at night. Hopefully it doesn't get flooded again. The rainy weather pelting the metro this week catapults the Rubios right back to the worst night of their lives. It's just scary sometimes. This is what the home looked like after the June 30th flash flood. Two months later, you can see a lot of progress has been made, but with this week's forecast, the family worries that history could repeat itself. It's more still of a struggle, especially with my kids every time it rains. We, you know, we, we're sitting here and it starts raining. And my kids is always looking out and let's go, let's go because we're going to get flooded. Let's go. So it's, it brings back everything from day one. This house has come a long way since that day. It was devastating. I didn't even want to come inside the house. And now it's, I just want to spend my day out here. Slowly but surely, it's becoming a house once more. From the electrical wiring to the donations. We have a brand new stove over here. That was donated to us from the Grandview Church of Christ on Hubble Avenue. It leaves Yolanda close to speechless. Feels like we're at the end of the tunnel now. Moving forward, even though flooding may always be in the back of their minds, the Rubios vow to not live in fear of the weather. She can, Mother Nature can send it down to Texas. Instead, they are focusing their energy to all the progress happening around them. It's exciting to see the house coming back together so we can all move back in. In Des Moines, Bryn Carmen, Local 5 News. Thank you to everybody who helped us. We are Iowa. When the renovation started at the Rubio household, they did raise up the floor a few inches in the back bedrooms. They hope that helps keep water out in case they do have flooding again.